Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Podcast to create audiograms. Audiograms allow you to upload audio and convert them into video that have animated captions and waveforms. The audiograms are just MP4 video files. So once you create them on Adobe Podcast, you can then bring them into Adobe After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut, add some additional elements, and create a nice little animation for your social media posts in a matter of no time. Want to turn podcast clips or voiceovers into videos that look great on social media? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Podcast's free audiogram tool, which is super fast and easy to make clean, professional video clips with animated captions and waveforms. Open a web browser and go to podcast.adobe.com. There you're going to sign in using your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. If you do not have a subscription, you can still use Adobe Podcast for free, but there are some limitations. For example, with audiograms, it will be branded with Adobe Podcast. But if you are on the premium plan, meaning you're part of the Adobe subscription, you can see that you can create audiograms without any Adobe branding. On the home page of Adobe Podcast, I can click on Tools and choose Studio. I can also come here where it says Record a Podcast and just click on this and click on Start Recording. And now you have the option to start recording directly into the browser by clicking on the button Start Recording or clicking on the red circle Record. Or you can upload an audio file by simply clicking on Upload Audio or coming over here to the left sidebar, clicking on upload. You can rename your project. If you come up in the top left corner, you notice a little pencil, you can just click to rename. To make sure that you're using the right microphone when you're recording, just go to the bottom right corner, click on the little microphone settings icon, and choose the microphone that you wanna use for your recording. I'm just gonna choose upload audio and select an audio sample that I recorded in advance and click open. Now when you upload audio, you only get the waveform. But if you want to be able to edit the text, we can click on the icon in the top right corner and choose transcribe. If you are uploading audio, notice the speaker name is blank. So if I click this, there's no name. But if I was to record audio directly into Adobe Podcast, here is a sample of me recording directly into Adobe Podcast. Notice it knows it was me recording, so I'm the speaker here. So if you're making your audiograms, and there's no name there, you can just click on the speaker name. And that's gonna show up in the audiogram. If you wanna make any edits to the transcription, you can just select text, you can select multiple text. Come over here, click on the pencil. That's only going to change the transcript. It's not gonna actually change how the audio sounds. You can also export clips and you can also delete. So if I wanna delete everything, I could select it and just click on the delete icon. You can upload additional audio files. You can record additional clips. You can come over here. You can add filters if you want to enhance the audio. Add background music. The first thing I'm going to do is come down here to the transport player. I'm just going to drag it all the way to the beginning as that's where it's going to actually insert the music. Now you could always change it later, but knowing that the cursor is at the beginning, that's where it's going to insert the music. I'll come over here and click on plus music. I'll click megawatt. I'll go down to the background section. I'm going to choose the short option and click plus. Now, if I wanted it below, so maybe I wanted the audio to play first and then the music, well, I could just click and drag it to any position I wanted. To have the music play in the background, I'm going to click on the icon in the top right corner and choose set as background. And now when I click play, want to turn podcast you can hear clip, the music and the dialogue together videos. and to trim the music so it matches the dialogue i'm going to come down here i'm just dragging forward notice that the little highlighter there is showing me where the captions are i make sure it's at the very end it's at the 23 second mark i might go just a little bit more i'm looking up here to whatever is highlighted in the music let's go to 26 to where that little shortness is then i'll click here I'm going to choose split. I'm just going to take the second section and delete it. Now we have a total duration of 26 seconds. When you're happy with your recording to create the audiogram or to download the audio, you're going to come over in the top right corner and click on download. I'm going to go to the very bottom here and choose audiogram. 
Now you have the option at the very top to choose the size of the aspect ratio. So you can do wide, you can do portrait, or square. I'll keep it at square. You can choose a theme. You have a whole bunch of theme options. You get an instant preview. Choose the theme that you want. And you see here, it's gonna show you how long the audiogram is. When you're ready, you can click and create audiograms. And you create multiple audiograms. So once this one's done, you can change the theme, you can change the aspect ratio, and just create creating as many as you want. When it's done processing, which in this case took less than a minute, it's gonna automatically download the audiogram to your computer. And there is the MP4 video file all ready for me to upload to social media. If I tap the space bar to preview. Want to turn podcast clips or voiceovers the captions into are videos animated. Great At the very top, this is the title of the project in Adobe Podcast. There it says guest one. Remember we could name that anything we wanted. If I drag forward in time, when it gets to my section, you see it changes to Mike Murphy. So if you had a podcast interview, it would read just like an interview, switching back to the guests. So maybe you want to use the square one for Instagram or X, and you want to create one for TikTok. So you can come over here and change it to portrait, create another audiogram. Maybe you want to create one for YouTube. We'll click this and choose the landscape option. Go into Adobe After Effects or your favorite video editor. Create a template. Maybe one for square, one for vertical, one for wide. Add elements, then you can simply replace the audiograms every time you create a new one. So here I have this one here. I'm just gonna drag in the new one that we just created. I'll drag it into After Effects. I'm gonna select the old one here, so that's the one that you're seeing right there. I'll hold Option or Alt and just drag the new one right on top of the old one. It's gonna replace it. It's gonna keep all the animations intact. All I have to do is simply export this as a new video. Easy as that. And if you ever want to go back into Adobe Podcasts and reopen an older project, maybe you want to make some additional audiograms, just go to podcast.adobe.com, make sure you're signed in, then click on Tools and choose Studio. There you're going to see a list of all the projects that you've created. You can click on the little ellipsis if you ever want to duplicate a project. Maybe you want just a starting point and you want to just duplicate it, or you can just simply click to open it. And you can click on download in the top right corner and choose audiogram to create as many audiograms as you need. And that is how to make audiograms using Adobe Podcast. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.